Hello, I'm Keith Martin from the Silver Auction in Portland, Oregon, and we're going to take a couple of minutes to talk about a car that has more than quadrupled in value in the past 60 days. That's the Amphicar. Now, these cars were built in the early 60s, and they were built in Germany using an English drivetrain. Amphicar, that's because they were a car that could be driven on land as well as in the water. They, the original concept behind their creation was that they were for Germans who lived along canals. And they would, in theory, they would hop into these cars, drive down the canal, and go to work. Uh, the, in the execution of the car was not terrific. And in fact, Road and Track, when it reviewed this car in the 60s, said, not a very good boat and not a very good car either. Yet, in the past 60 days, their values have soared. For many, many years, these were $15,000 cars, maybe in the best day of their life, 20, 25. Occasionally, a perfect car would hit 30, 35. At the Barrett-Jackson auction in January in Scottsdale, a fully restored car in superb condition sold for $124,000. You can imagine what happened. The values of Ampha cars all over the world soared. My understanding is the seller of this car is looking for $60,000. Three months ago, he would have been asking twenty-five, dollars at least in my opinion. So let's look at this car. Now look at the front. You see it's got a V because that's the bow of the car. The car does not have any rudders in the back. It's steered with the front wheels. So the front wheels moving left and right make this car. That's how you steer the car when it's in the water. Now if we come around this way, here you have the siren for the car when it's in the water. You have all the nautical equipment. Inside the car, there's a transfer case. And what that does is it shifts the power from the drive shaft or from the rear wheels to the two propellers. And if we come to the back and look underneath here, you'll see two propellers. Here's your exhaust pipe, which is up high, so that the car can be in the water without water getting into the exhaust pipe. The doors have a special sealing mechanism you pull once you get in the car to make them watertight. It's a bad idea to not replace those rubber seals on your Ampha car. There's nothing worse than being out in the water and looking down and suddenly seeing that you've got uh, some water pouring into, what you're, into your car. The problem with these cars is that they rust. Now think about it. Here's a car uh, with an English drivetrain that's going into the water and it rusts. Uh, they also, the problem they have is what's called, they have very little freeboard. Freeboard is the amount of the car or boat that's above the water line. The freeboard is about this much on these cars. So if you get into a situation where you've got maybe six inch waves or something, you want to be careful because your Amphicar could turn into a submarine. If you're thinking of buying one of these cars, you want to only buy one that's totally and completely done. There's, a, there's an active Amphicar club, and they can help you with spares. You can find them on the web. But restoring one is a real uh, pain in the butt. I, I think, as far as prices go, we've definitely hit a bubble now. And I think that the bubble will come back down. I honestly don't think you're going to see a lot more Amphicars sell for $125,000. They're an oddity not a blue chip collectible of, like a Ferrari that's won Le Mans or Corvette that's won Daytona. So if you really need to have an Amphicar, you're gonna have to pay what it takes today. If you can wait, my prediction is, if you can wait 12 months, you're gonna see those prices swing back down into the forty to $50,000 range for perfectly restored models. A little uptick from where they were, but more in keeping with what I think the value of the car is. However, if you're looking for a car that creates a real sensation and you want to drive down to the water and drive right into the lake, there really is no substitute for an Amphicar. Keith Martin for Sports Car Market Magazine, Mitch Silver Auction, Portland, Oregon. Thank you for watching.